Erev Tov Rabotai, we are continuing with our Mishnah Yomi, Masechet Yoma. We are up to Perik Hey Mishnah Vav. Today's Mishnayot should be Leilu Nishmat, Neria Ben Svetlana, Aran Baiv, and Eliyahu Ben Burcha Yisraelov, Menuchatam Began Eden, Amen. The Mishnah begins, Hiza al Tahoros Shel Mizbech, Sheva Pamim, after the Kohen Gadol applied blood to the corners. He sprinkled blood on a clean area on top of the inner altar seven times. The Rav explains the Kohen Gadol pushed the coals and ashes to the sides and then sprinkled the blood seven times on the exposed gold. Then he went out to the courtyard and poured the remaining blood onto the western side of the base of the outer altar. Now the outer altar was built upon a broad base, Isod, that extended one ama beyond the altar like a step. The Kohen Gadol poured the remaining blood onto the western side of this base because this was the side closest to him when he came out of the sanctuary building, as the Gemara explains on page 59a in Mesechet Yoma. Likewise, the remaining blood of all the inner Hatat offerings is poured on the western side of the base. V'shel Mizbech HaChitzon HaYashofech HaLisod Deromi However, the remaining blood of the outer Hatat offerings, whose blood is applied on the outer altar, is poured onto the southern side of the base. Once he applied the blood of an outer Hatat offering to the horns of the outer altar, the coin went down the ramp, which was to the south of the altar. He therefore poured the remaining blood onto the southern side of the base, since that side was closest to him, as the Gemara explains on page 59 in Mesechid Yoma. After they were poured onto the base, the blood of these and those, the inner Hadad offerings and the outer Hadad offerings, joined in the canal that ran through the courier and flowed out to the Kidron Valley, where they were sold by the temple treasurers to gardeners for use as fertilizer in their gardens. One who uses them without paying for them benefits from sacred property, which is forbidden. Now the Torah forbids having benefit from sacred items, what we call mi'ila. However, the biblical prohibition does not apply to the blood discussed here since its service has been completed. It is forbidden only according to rabbinic law. When an item owned by the temple is sold, its sanctity is transferred to the money and the item itself is no longer subject to the prohibition of mi'ila. In our Mishnah's case, therefore, once the gardeners paid for the blood, they were allowed to use it as fertilizer. That is in a Mishnah Vav. Mishnah Zayin now starts by stating that the service performed by the Kohen Gadol Yom Kippur must be done in a particular order. The Mishnah begins, Kol Yom amur ala seder. This is the rule for all of the Yom Kippur procedures that are mentioned in the preceding Mishnahs in a specific order. This refers to all of the procedures that Kohen Gadot performed while wearing his white garments in the sanctuary and in the Holy of Holies. If the Kohen Gadol did one procedure before another, which was supposed to come first, he has accomplished nothing, meaning the procedure he performed too early is invalid and must be performed again in its correct place in the sequence, as Rashi explains on page 68 in Mesechet Yoma. For example, if he sprinkled the blood of the he goat toward the curtain in the sanctuary, before he sprinkled the blood of the bull there, he must sprinkle the blood of the he goat again after he has sprinkled the blood of the bull. The Mishnah now discusses what the Kohen Gadol must do if the blood spilled. If the blood of the bull or he goat spilled, before he finished a set of eight applications in the Holy of Holies, he must bring other blood, meaning he must go out to the courtyard and slaughter another bull or he goat and repeat the sprinklings in the Holy of Holies from the beginning of the unfinished set. Now the blood of the bull was sprinkled eight times in the Holy of Holies, once upward and seven times downward, and so was the blood of the he goat. Each group of eight sprinklings is a set. Therefore, for example, if the blood of the he goat spills after three of the eight sprinklings, the Kohen Gadol must slaughter a new he goat and perform those three sprinklings again, plus the remaining five. The Chen Bayechal, and the same is true of the blood of the bull or he goat spilled before he finished a set of eight sprinklings toward the curtain in the sanctuary. Now, a single set consisted 
of the one upward sprinkling and the seven downward ones as in the Holy of Holies. Here too he must slaughter another animal and go back to the beginning of the, un- of the interrupted set. And the same is true of the blood, the mixed blood of both the bull and the he goat spilled before he finished the set of 11 applications on the golden altar. In this case, he, he slaughters both a bull and a he goat, mixes their blood and uses the mixture to repeat the interrupted set. Now there was only <clears throat> there was only one set on the golden altar which consisted of the four applications to the corners and the seven sprinklings on the top. Shekulan kapara However, it is not necessary to repeat any previous set that was already completed because each set is in its own unit of atonement. Once a set has been finished, its purpose has been achieved. Therefore, even if the blood of a new animal is used for the next set, the first set is now repeated. Now the next two Tanaim hold that he does not go back to the beginning of the interrupted set. Rabbi Eliezer and Rabbi Shimon and Rabbi Shimon say, Mimakom shepasak misham umatchil. From the place in the set where he stopped, that is where he starts again. Meaning, if he started a set and the blood spilled before he finished it, he continues from where he stopped. For example, if the blood of the he goat spilled after three of the eight applications inside the Holy of Holies, he slaughters another he goat and begins with the fourth sprinkling. He does not go back to the beginning of the set and perform the first three sprinklings again. According to these Tanaim, each sprinkling is a mitzvah in its own right, which having been done once, does not need to be repeated. The Rav does tell us, Ven anachak Rabbi Elazar ve Rabbi Shimon, the anachad is not found the opinion of Rabbi Elazar and Rabbi Shimon. That is in Rabbi Taif, today's Mishnah Yomi. Baruch Adonai Leulam, Amen v'Amen.